I really enjoy watching the Phoenix Suns. I, I just, what they're doing, their story. Right now, they are leading the uh, the Clippers in the Eastern Conference Finals. They're up two games to nothing. Uh, the Suns are, if the Suns win two more games, they're playing in the NBA Finals. And they just had a wild last second win in game two with a, you know, Don, DeAndre Ayton had a, like an alley oop with 0.9 seconds left to win the game. And Devin Booker's nose is bleeding. It's just like this. God, it's such a fun basketball team to watch. If you haven't watched the Phoenix Suns, I can't recommend it enough. If you're an NBA fan, you have. But if if anybody out there hasn't watched Phoenix, go make it happen. Uh, Devin Booker is their star player, kind of the face of the franchise. Uh, for example, he had 47 points in Game 6 against the LA Lakers uh, in Round 1. I did see the other day, by the way, Steph, uh, Stephen A. Smith, who is not my favorite person <laughs> in the media, uh, called him the next Kobe, and I, I, I hate that kind of comparison. I think anytime you're saying, you know, this guy is the next blank, it's just a statement that you're you're saying it for attention. It doesn't really do anybody service. Uh, like, let Kobe be Kobe and let Devin Booker be Devin Booker. Again, it's just a statement to grab attention. That kind of stuff, the way that a lot of people in the sports media inflate things drive me nuts. Um, like Kobe was a cultural icon. He won five NBA titles. I don't know... It's not fair to compare anybody to Kobe. There's not going to ever be another Kobe. There is no next Kobe Bryant. Devin Booker is the next Devin Booker. And I just, that statement always kind of sticks in my craw and drives me nuts. Um, and it does, again, it does Kobe a disservice and it does Devin Booker a disservice to compare the two uh, and say the next Kobe. But that said, Devin Booker is incredible. Like so much fun to watch play basketball. And he gets any shot he wants. He makes it look very, very easy. And while Devin Booker is the best basketball player on the Phoenix Suns roster, my favorite player is actually Chris Paul. Chris Paul, a, a guy who gets a lot of hate. He's an NBA veteran. But Chris Paul is tough. He plays good defense. He's got this, this like attitude and this grit that I really like about him. He can score. And he's this awesome veteran leader that I think is really – clearly pushed Phoenix over the top. And, uh, you know, I would actually, I would love to see Chris Paul win an NBA title. He's had this massive impact on the Phoenix Suns team. And it kind of reminds me of Tom Brady, the Buccaneers quarterback, going from New England to Tampa, where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had this great roster and they just needed a veteran presence to push them over the top and make a play or two when they need it, but also just create, kind of really help that culture. And, you know, T Tom Brady went to Tampa and pushed him over the top. They won a Super Bowl. I think the same is going to happen for the Phoenix Suns where they got Chris Paul. They were already really talented and pretty close. And Chris Paul is the difference maker to push them over the top and build the culture and get them to winning an NBA title. And I just I, I think people are dramatically understating the impact Chris Paul has had on the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I know it's weird, too. He had, he's got, like, he got exposed to COVID, and he missed game one and two of this new, the, of the Western Conference Finals. Uh, I might have said Eastern earlier. The Western Conference Finals um, with the Clippers, he missed game one and two because of COVID protocol, and it's been a weird series in general where Kawhi is also, um, you know, he missed game one and two as well for the Clippers. So, but I, Devin Booker is the best player, for sure, uh, in Phoenix. I would actually argue that maybe, you, you could make an argument that Chris Paul is the most important. What he's done, the culture he's created, the, the difference he's made. I mean, what's really that different between last year's Phoenix Suns team and this year's Phoenix Suns team? The difference is Chris Paul. The same way you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from two years ago and say, what, how'd they go from a, a not a playoff team to a winning a Super Bowl? The difference was the veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. And I just see so many parallels between Chris Paul and Tom Brady. And Phoenix is such a good story. I mean, the story really began last year. This is why you can't give Chris Paul all the credit, because last year uh, the, the Suns got invited to the bubble in Orlando. And they didn't make the playoffs because other teams ahead of them did well enough that it didn't really matter what Phoenix did in the end. But Phoenix went 8-0. They did everything they could to try to control their destiny and make it to the playoffs. They didn't end up making it. But that momentum carried on from last year into this year. Then they also added Chris Paul on top of that. And you got to realize, part of why this story is so interesting is Phoenix hadn't made the playoffs in 11 years. It's been a long time. 
And uh, before the season started, I I just I to, to go I don't know, eleven years without a playoff berth to a team that might come out of nowhere and win a title is it, just a cool story. I like I love that, and I love seeing them do so well. They're a blast to watch. The Suns play very well together. They move the ball really well. They talk very well on defense. I, I really enjoyed watching the way they defended the L.A. Lakers, forcing them to shoot threes, trapping LeBron inside, making a pass outside, and taking advantage of the fact that the Lakers really don't have a guy. They Their shooters aren't really shooters the same way you look at uh, like uh, Seth Curry or, um, it, despite his struggles, Joe Harris uh, on the Nets. And um, I just I love watching the way they effectively shut down the Lakers offense in round one. And, I mean, literally hours uh, before I'm recording this, uh, the Suns' former number one overall pick, DeAndre Ayton from 2018, hit the game-winning shot, or I guess the game-winning alley-oop, uh, to win game two of the Western Conference Finals over the L.A. Clippers. And just to have success after success after like DeAndre Ayton's doing well, and Devin Booker's incredible. Like, he's one of the best scorers, if not the best scorer in the NBA right now. Him and I'd put Kevin Durant up there. But the way that Devin Booker can get, can get any shot he wants— and um, I, I just, and then Chris Paul has been a big success story. And uh, I just one final thing I want to talk about with the Suns is their head coach Monty Williams. Um, this is not his first time working with Chris Paul. Chris Paul played for Monty Williams uh, in New Orleans in the 2010-2011 season. And it's really cool to hear Monty Williams kind of reflect on the past, his, his, his former interaction with Chris Paul as a player where you hear maturity and growth from the head coach, the guy who he, he's clearly changed his approach as the years have gone on, where he said last time in 2010 when he coached Chris Paul, he tried to impose his will on the team, whereas this time around he didn't, he, he said literally word for word, he didn't want to get in Chris Paul's way. To say that takes means he's got a lot of respect for his, you know, his stud player, and he's trying to listen, trying to help his players, you know, give them the tools they need to win. And Monty Williams pretty clearly is doing an amazing job. He respects Chris Paul. Instead of butting heads with him, he said, hey, let's let Chris Paul be a leader. And, you know, he doesn't – Chris Paul doesn't need a lot of coaching. I mean, he's a guy who's very self-motivated, who has good ideas, who wants to – he lo- clearly loves basketball. He's having a lot of fun playing. I love watching the guy play throughout the playoffs. It's kind of been I was kind of bummed actually they won in round two they swept the team there I was like man I I wanted more I was like ah. you know and so it's it's just working so well the two of them Monty Williams and Chris Paul and the, I, I would believe the impact Chris Paul has had on Devin Booker and I don't know man I love watching the Phoenix Suns they're such a blast and such a fun basketball team to watch uh, and a really cool story and I would I would love to see the Phoenix Suns win an NBA title.